For countless years, people have used silver and gold as their primary currency. And over those years, some of it was lost, stashed, or otherwise taken and hidden from history. These are the stories of America's buried treasures in your neck of the woods. Today's treasure tale takes us to Mineral County, Nevada, along the California border for a treasure tale of some long lost outlaw loot. In the 1870s, there were as many outlaws as there were honest people, traveling from the rich silver and gold discoveries in western Nevada, across the Sierra foothills, to Sacramento and Stockton, California. One such outlaw was a man named Milton Sharp. Sharp was not a typical outlaw. He was well dressed and courteous, and would often offer apologies to passengers of stages as he was robbing them. Thought to have robbed more than 20 stages along those windy roads, Sharp's first major mistake was teaming up with a fellow named W.C. Jones, simply known as Bill. The two had done some time in San Quentin prison before meeting up again in Bodie, California. Their first robbery, while successful, didn't get them much. They rode away with three pocket watches from the passengers and $88 in gold and silver coins. But it did not discourage them. On the next stage, the two struck a payroll of $15,000 they were more than happy to relieve the driver from. The two are credited with several robberies, and no one was ever hurt during these polite stick-ups until the 5th of September 1880, when the two stopped a Wells Fargo Express from Bodie, California, bound to Carson City, Nevada. While stopping the stage, Bill fired off a couple shots, one striking and killing one of the stage horses. The stage guard then returned fire, killing Jones who was thought to be drunk during the robbery. Sharp then took out the guard and proceeded robbing the stage. He rode off, leaving Jones' body in the middle of the road next to the stranded stage with a dead horse still teamed up. Soon after, wanted posters started popping up all over California and Nevada, offering a $3,000 reward for the capture of Sharp. Sharp was pursued by lawmen and bounty hunters alike, and was finally captured in San Francisco. He waived extradition and was taken in chains back to Aurora, Nevada, where he was being charged with six Wells Fargo stage robberies. That night, Sharp was intensely questioned where he had stashed his caches. Sharp stayed silent. In the morning, when the guard came to check on him, he found Sharp and the 15 pound iron ball chained to his leg, gone. He had managed to remove some of the bricks and escape under the cover of night. A posse mounted up and the reward was increased to $5,000. Sharp hid out for several weeks before finally turning himself in. Cold, tired and hungry, Sharp was returned to Aurora, Nevada, where he was convicted of five of the six robberies. Not willing to tell where the money was buried, the judge sentenced him to 20 years at the Carson City State Prison. Sharp tried to escape a few times during his first few months, but settled down to be a model prisoner. He attempted a pardon in 1881, but was unsuccessful, so he started looking for new ways to get out. In 1889, he was finally able to escape and he disappeared for four years. He was captured again October 3, 1893 in Red Bluff, California, where he was returned to prison. Sharp later wrote a letter to Wells Fargo, giving them a list of names and places where he had stashed the loot from the five stages he was convicted of. Thinking that Sharp had been rehabilitated, they recommended Sharp's request for pardon be granted. On July 10, 1894, 
Sharp walked away a free man, and by all accounts, led a law-abiding life. Afterwards, stories of Sharp's unretrieved caches started to circulate. In 1910, two brothers, Gus and Will Hess, found small caches of hidden loot in the hills between Bodie and Lundy, California. It was thought that some 70% of Sharp's ill-gotten loot is still out there, stashed along the old stage routes between Aurora, Nevada and Bodie, California. Could it still be there? You have to search to find it. Good luck. Happy hunting. Keep on digging it. Please like. Subscribe. And share with a friend. Hit that notification button to follow me on YouTube. Thanks for stopping in. Hope you enjoyed. Good luck. Happy hunting. Keep on digging it. For even more to explore, check out these other videos.